Hi. As you know, I'm in Manny Wolf's 1000 Speaker Academy. And he has us do a video every week to practice and argument what you're learning in the class. So I'd love for you to join and watch this video. I'm trying. <laughs> Hi, Colette. Hey, Manny, what's up? Okay, so this is practice for the week and this time I'll be trying to pace myself and keep my rhythm because I tend to rush, especially like right now when I'm nervous. Mira! Oh my goodness, this is cool. All right, so I'm going to do this poem. Uh, hopefully I don't butcher it too much, but this is by Mary, Mary Howitt, and it was written in the 1800s, and it's a classic poem, and it's so well, let me not talk too much. But, again, we're looking for pacing, for tonality, and for just taking your time. So here goes. <clears throat> the Spider and the Fly by Mary Howitt. You know what? Let me take off my glasses because of the glare. Okay. <clears throat> Would you come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. It's the prettiest little parlor that ever did you spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair. And I've got many a curious things to show you when you're there. Oh, no, no, said the little fly. To ask me is in vain, for he who goes up your winding stair shall never come down again. Dear fly, you must be tired from soaring up so high. Would you like to rest upon my bed, said the spider to the fly. Their pretty curtains drawn around, the sheets, they're fine and thin. If you'd like to sleep a while, I'll gladly tuck you in. <laughs> oh, no, no, can't, sir, that cannot be. I've often heard it said, they never, ever wake up again who sleep upon your bed. Dear friend, said the cunning spider, what can I do to prove this warm affection I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Would you please to take a slice? <laughs> No, no, said the little fly. To ask me is in vain. I've heard what's in your pantry. I do not wish to see. Sweet creature, said the spider. You're wily and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings. How brilliant are your eyes. I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you'll step up one moment, dear, you will behold yourself. Why, thank you, kind sir, for what you're pleased to say. And wishing you good morrow now. I'll call another day. And so the spider turned around and went back in his den. He knew the silly spider would soon be back again. And so he wove a little web in a corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly.
And then he went up to his door and merrily did sing, Come hither, hither, pretty fly, with the green and the purple wings. Your robes are green and purple, there's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. Alas, alas, the silly fly. <sighs> how soon she came on by, thinking only of his cunning words, of her green and purple hue. And soon she came, nearer and nearer drew. And at last, the cunning spider jumped up and held her fast and dragged her into his dismal den and she never came out again. And so, sweet little creatures, who made this story read, I pray to evil counselor, you never will take heed. And to an evil counselor, close heart, close ears, close eyes, and learn a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. Thanks for joining. I totally butchered it, but you got the point. And that was good fun. All right, comment below. Thanks for joining. Peace out. Three, two, one.